Hey guys, welcome back to Kim Chris TV. Let's look at electric circuit. We are still on a what? You are still on physics jump online class. Um, the topic is what? Electric what? Feed. Right? Electric feed is divided into two parts. The current electricity and electric what? Circuit. I have done a whole complete video on the what? Current uh, electricity. You need to check out that video because uh, majority of those things uh, you will see them in the world in the exam. If the exam because electric field is one important aspect of physics that you must fully what cover. You get so, but this video here, yeah, let's focus our attention on what electric what circuit. So, I have to look at electric circuit. What electric circuit is all about the biggest component of electric circuit, what make up electric circuit, the very components, and what are their uses. It's very important to know this in here because jam normally ask questions on those aspects. They will look at what connections of resistors in series and in parallel. How to solve problems in those when uh, uh resistors are connected in series, when resistors are connected in parallel. It's very, very important. So if you are ready for this class, leave, leave a comment section that you are ready for the class. I'm so excited to be one of the person that you look up to to help you cover your uh, physics, mass, and chemistry. So now let's get started. So the first year. First, first, what is electric circuit? What do you understand by electric circuit? Now, electric circuit is the pathway in which electric current flows in order to be converted to a profitable what to use. So, again, when it comes to what uh, electric current, electric current is what charge in motion. Do you understand? So, uh, charge in motion. Now, electric what current? The the pathway through which Ele uh, electric current flows in order to be converted to a profitable use is known as what electric was circuit. So now the reason why we enjoy light in our own, the reason why we can use light to charge our, charge our phone because those electric currents are be converted to what to a profitable use. The the pathway in which these electric currents are converted to a, uh, to a profitable use is now what electric was circuit. Do you understand? So look at something here. Now, before you can understand electric circuit, uh, let's understand the various component of what electric what circuit. So I'm going to look at, I'm going to show you, uh, run down them one by one. So let's look at what the first one. The component of what electric what circuit. The first one is called the energy source. So the first thing you want to look at when it comes to electric circuit is, what is the energy source. Now the, the energy source can either be a battery, a solar, or, or generator. Number two is what is switch. Switch. It, uh, is used to put on or off the what the circuit you get so switch is what control what the current so you now you can either switch on or switch off so you need to switch in what in electric what circuit now the number two is called ammeter ammeter is used to measure what currents so what is used to measure current in electric circuit is called the word ammeter the next one is called voltmeter Voltmeter is used to measure what the potential what difference. Okay, the potential difference is work done per unit charge, right? Work done per unit charge. That we call potential what difference. Then the next one is called resistance. Do you understand? Or resistors. Resistance is not what the load. The load. It's like the light and any other thing here. You connect it to a circuit, it's not what the load. It's called resistance. But the next one is called resistance. Real star is used to adjust the currents. So, what is used to adjust the currents in the electric circuit is not radio starts. Do you understand? So, now let's look at what the, the diagram for the electric circuit. So, this is a typical diagram of, of the electric circuit. And here we have the first one here. here look at the way it's being arranged here. We have what the various components. Now, here is what both meter. Remember, both meter is so what measure what the potential difference in the electric circuit. Now, here's what is the resistance here, or the resistor. Resistor is what is load. Do you understand? The load is just like a light or anything you want to power. You get or your phone. You also your phone too. Resistor. Then this is the ammeter. Ammeter is used to measure what the electric current inside what the electrical circuit. So the component of the of the the component of the electric uh, of the electric circuit that is used to measure the current is now what our meter. Now here we have the resistor. Resistance is used to adjust the current. Now, probably if it's two hours, it's used to adjust it. Just and you start, so that the electric circuit will be stable. 
Now here we have what we call the energy source, which is called the battery. You get. Then here we have the key, we call the switch. So now you can either put it on or you will put it off. Just um. So this is what is a typical example of what are the what electric circuit look like. You get. Now the way the components are connected are very very important. So one thing to understand here is that vo the voltmeter in the electric circuit are are always connected in what in parallel. So voltmeter are connected what are connected or arranged what in parallel what connection, which we are going to look at. Why the armature are always arranged in series or connected what in series what connection? Do you, do you understand? So vote meter are arranged what in parallel connection. Vote vote meter are uh, arranged in what parallel what connection. The in case you have been asked why the armature. Our meta uh, arrange in what series connection very important series what connection so you know what technical this year then resistors can be arranged both in parallel resistor and cell look at something here resistor and cell can either be arranged what in both the parallel or what both the parallel or series so this year we're now going to look at now uh the, the the arrangement of resistors in series connection and the arrangement of resistors in what uh parallel what connection so let's look at it and how we, how we can calculate both the series connection and what parallel connection of the of the resistor do you get that so that is next we are going to look at so let's look at series and parallel arrangements of resistors and cells so the first one i want to look at what is resistor in what in series resistors are connected in series when the positive end of one resistor is connected to the negative end of another watt resistor, and so on. So now what about uh resistors in series? When the positive end of one of the resistors is connected to what the negative end of another watt resistor, when the positive uh, uh, now and uh, when the positive end of this resistor is connected to what the negative end, so just like damage damage is in what in uh, horizontal what form just uh, horizontally the positive end of this one connected to the negative end of this one the positive end of this one connected to the negative end of this one the positive end of this one connected to the negative end of this here right the equivalent resistors here is going to be what arrow is because what arrow one plus what arrow two plus what arrow three when you saw so when uh resistors are connected in series the equivalent resistor or resistance is when you sum them together. Just um, now, there are some key things you need to understand when it comes to what series uh, resistors or in series. So these are what in general in series connection of resistors. So these are things you need to what take into these three things here are very very key when we are talk, talk about resistors or what in series. So the first one is that the same current passes through each resistor. That means the same current will pass through this resistor. The same current will pass through this resistor. And the same code will pass through what this resistor just done. It means that I is equal to what the equivalent resistor is equal to what uh, I1, I2, and what I3, current one, current two, or current three. Just done. It's very important here because they jump usually ask all the things in your in the exam. Just done. The same current pass through each of the, of the resistor. So I equals to what I1, equals to I2, equals to what I3. Just done. Now the next one to Look, look at here is that the potential difference V across a whole series connection is equal to the sum of the individual potential differences across each resistor. It means that V equals what V1 plus V2 plus what V3. Do you understand? So the potential difference across the whole series connection is equal. Now it's equal when you sum everything what together. Then when, when you are talking about what the potential what difference. But in 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 our uh, current i i equals to i1 equals to i2 equals to what i3 because the same current do you understand but the voltage are not the same so you have to what sum them together but the current are what are the same you get now the last one here the total resistance arrow is sum of the individual resistance so the total resistance is when you sum them together which we have already done yes so this is called resistance what in series so these are key things to understand because what resistance what in series 
Now let's look at what history was in parallel. So let's look at what history was in parallel. When all the positive ends of the resistors are connected to one point, and all the negative ends are connected to another point, it's called a uh, parallel what? It's called parallel what? Resistors. Just like so, uh, if you if you check the diagram, you can see that. All the yeah, yeah, the negative points, right? Of the three watt resistors, they are connected to one point, right? So from here, from here, they are connected to one point. And all the positive and all the what positive ends also that were connected to what under end here, right? So this connection is now is now what parallel. Now you, you can see that here is that the current is not the same. So the current is going to differ from so the current that pass through the resistor is not going to be for what. Uh, for the first case, it's not going to be for the same for the score, it's not going to be for what third case so because it splits just and but but the voltage will be the same. So, arrow one, arrow two, and arrow two will add the same voltage. You need to pay people at short so that one here. So, here we can see that the combined total equivalent or effective resistance for the resistors connected in series connected in parallel is what one over what arrow equals to one over what arrow one. Plus one by what I would two plus one by what I would three. Do you understand? So that's what key thing to understand here that the potential difference across each across each resistor is the same and it's equal to what the potential difference across the whole con the whole connection. It means that resistor one, resistor two, resistor three are the same voltage. Do you understand? So the potential difference are the same. So V equals V1. Because of what V2, because of what V3. Do you understand? Very, very important. Number two, the total current is equal to the sum of the currents flowing through each resistor. In the sense that, if you want to get the current here, you have to add I1, I2, I3. Yeah. Do you understand? The last you want to pay, you want to really pay attention to is the combined resistance is always less than the what's least least in the individual watch resistor if not our year will always be the least right there will, will only be small when you combine them together very important so let now let's start looking at what so, some question here remember if, uh, if it's three resistors if you have three resistors here we have one about arrow plus one about arrow one plus one about arrow two plus one about arrow three is okay very important. But if it's two, we can use this simple formula here. Arrow equals to what? Arrow one times arrow two over what? Arrow one plus arrow uh, plus what? Arrow two. So if it's only two resistors, please take note of it. If it's only two resistors, here we have arrow one times arrow two over what? Arrow one plus arrow two. Very important. Just and note is not the same as what arrow. Equals to arrow one times arrow two times arrow three. Well, what arrow one plus arrow two plus what arrow three? It's not the same. Either this one, this one does not work. Now you only use one where you only have three. When you have when you only have two instances, but if it's three this time, it must be what one about arrow one plus one about arrow two plus one about arrow three. So now let's start solving questions using this. I say you cannot use one here, right? So very technical of that. So now let's ask uh, some sort of critical word questions on the series of parallel word connection. So now let's start evaluating the one after the other, again, right? So so let's look at what the first set of questions. So let's do this one together here. So look at the first one here, second one, third one, and fourth one. So I'm going to show how to solve each of those one, each of these questions here. Then I want to give you one for you to try. Just and so let's evaluate this one. Something like this. This one is called uh this one is what is series connection because the positive the positive point of one resistor is connected to, to the negative end of one resistor, right? So this one you don't need to bother your, you don't need to stress yourself too much. It's going to be R equals to what R one plus what R two, right? So the answer is going to be R equals to what sixty ohms plus four ohms equals to what twenty. So twenty ohms. This one is what twenty what ohms, right? So this this uh, these two are connected to in, in parallel. I did. And the parallel connection, you have one over what arrow equals to one over what arrow one plus one over what arrow two plus one over what arrow three, right? Now, but here we have only two resistors, right? So, can you write this at? So, now, 
Remember, if she is for you, you got to see what the basic arrow arrow equals to what? Arrow one times arrow two or what? Or arrow one plus what arrow what? So you see got to be the same thing. But now let's confirm this thing. Remember, uh, you're going to be my arrow here, you're going to be what my arrow to right. So let's evaluate from here. One over what arrow equals to what one over what arrow one plus one over what arrow what two, right? Now what is my arrow one? My arrow one here is what is twenty ohms. My arrow two is what is six watt ohms. So let's use our first. Let's see if this one and this one is going to give produce what the same answer. So here we have one over what arrow equals to one over what arrow one is what twenty plus arrow two is what is what six, right? What is LCM between 20 and 6? So let me look for what the LCM 26, right? 2 go to here, here we have 10, here we have what 3, right? 2 go to 20 is what 10, 2 go to 6 is what is 3, right? LCM again, 2 go to 10 is what is 5, 2 go to 3 cannot put 3 here. Now next is what is 3, 5, 5 what 1, 5, 1, 1. So it be the LCM is going to be 2 times 2 times 3 times 5. What what would be the answer here? So two times two times three times five. Here we have about sixty. So the answer here is one sixty, right? So twenty going to sixty. Twenty going to sixty. Here we have three. Three times one is what? Three times one is three plus, right? Three six is going to uh six is going to uh sixty. Here we have 10. 10 times 1 is what? Right? So it's going to be 3 plus 6. 3 plus 6 is, is what? 3 plus 6. No, 3 plus 10 is what? Is 13 over what? 6, right? That is, uh, yeah, yeah, remember, you got to be what? 1, uh, one over what? Arrow, right? It goes to what? 13 over what? 60, right? So when you divide it here, here we have 13 divided by, 13 divided by what? 60. Here we have, Okay, so if you should make this guy sub sub to a formula here, make it to a sub formula here, you have to work cost multiply, right? So you have to evaluate him, you have to take time to work to evaluate this thing here. So let me write this place out. Let me write this place out. So if you check check very well, then it's going to be what? Then it's going to be one or out arrow equals to what? 30 or out 60, right? So if you should work, make sure you sub formula here, cost multiply, you got to be uh 13 arrow uh, equals to what 60 because uh 1 times 60 is what 60. So make it arrow the solid formula here. Give it out what 60 divided by what 13. Give it out, give it out 4.615 yes ohms. Right? 4.615 what ohms. Now let's use this formula. Yeah, let's use one here. Let's see if I want to get the same answer, right? Remember, remember, it's going to be what arrow equals what arrow one times arrow two what arrow one plus what arrow two, right? So, uh, where's my arrow one? Twenty plus what six over what times six? I mean, then uh twenty plus six. Can you see that? So let the calculation here. Twenty times six divided by uh, 20 plus 6. Here we, here we have exactly the same thing here. 4.615. Do, do you understand? Ohms. Ohms. Do you understand? So, if I have two resistors, I can use this one straight. Right? Do you understand? But understand that if it's three resistors, it, it, it's not going to be this one. No. You have to use this format to, uh, to get your, your resistor. These are things you need to uh, take note because most times, so they actually made that mistake of you, when, when, when we now have three resistors, they're not going to say R1 times R2 times R3 over what R1 plus R2 plus R3. No. This one is only applicable when it's only what two resistors. Do you understand? So let's go uh question three. Let's go what question three. Now, question three is what is a combination of what series and what um, parallel. Do you understand? Combination of series and what are parallel. So you have, have this guy here. Got this one out. 5 ohms, right? Here we have 10 ohms. Here we have uh, 
three ohms here we have what four watt ohms right very important so you're going to be arrow one arrow two arrow what three arrow what four so yeah arrow one and arrow two they are what six position so here you can see arrow one and arrow two are what in series series connection right they are they are what series connection so the equivalent here is going to be arrow equals to what arrow one plus what arrow two which also is seen as what five ohms plus what five ohms plus ten ohms going to be what 15 what ohms can you see that so i have to withdraw this again if i should withdraw this again then i have connected two of them so it's going to be uh 15 ohms now right so yeah and i have now this one here now this one here right so yeah again right here we have three ohms forward ohms right now here we have arrow three and arrow four right arrow three and what arrow what four hope you understand you so remember arrow three arrow three and arrow four are in parallel connection i want parallel what connection then what in parallel connection you want to pay close attention so now because we have two of them that is my arrow here is equal to what arrow one times arrow two or what arrow one plus what arrow two is it left so 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 we got to be what arrow three arrow four left layers arrow three arrow four right so we've got to be what if you combine it together got to be arrow three is what three times arrow three is what three three times four right over three plus four three times four is what is twelve over uh, uh seven so twelve twelve divided by what seven yeah about one point seven one four one point seven one four ohms right it means that this one is what this one is what so we are not done right so this one is what is 15 this one is what is 1.714 so we have to combine them together so if you combine them together here we are going to add something like so two of them will not be what in series connection can you see that so then so this and this are what are 15 the equivalent is 15 when you combine this one here because this one is directly connected to this other one here so when you combine them together you got to add this one here what one point seven one four ohms right hope you understand so the next one to do you you want to now these two i what are in uh, series connection so yeah you got to do what uh 15 plus 1.714 right so we add them together here we have 15 plus 1.714 here we have 16.714 ohms so that is what is the answer you get so how do you do this one here so go ahead and try this one for me no don't worry i'll try this one here now let me let me ask you question four let me ask question four is it in series or in parallel let me ask you of course it's in what series why because the positive point of this one is connected to the negative point of this one here and the positive point of this one is connected to the negative point of this one here right so it's just like this so if you have this one is what is in series connection so series connection the equivalent is what uh arrow one plus arrow two plus arrow three got to be two plus three plus two right you're going to give you what two plus three plus two give what seven can you see that so that before i end this class today let me give you one for you to try you get so you leave it at the comment section make sure you you solve it they come back to this video here yeah, and leave the answer at the comment section please if this video is ever please kindly give it a like and if you don't subscribe to the channel please hit the subscribe button and turn on, turn on the notification icon so that you'll be notified whenever i upload every new content because i upload uh, videos on a constant basis to ensure that you prepare well for your upcoming work exam please try to tell uh, your friends about campus tv so that they too can also subscribe to this channel i also enjoy what you're enjoying right so i want to edit all these values so i can work solve for yourself so let me go ahead so go ahead and try this one for me we have come to the end of this class 
The next part is going to be Ohm's law, and that's what solve questions here. Solve question on, on Ohm's law. So this one will also be useful in our work next class. Uh, if you're not if you're not watched the first video on uh, uh electric field, please go ahead go and get the first video. Uh, if you are still having issues with chemistry, add a complete place on, on chemistry. If this video is helpful, like what I say for please give it a like and subscribe if you have not subscribed. Thanks for watching. There are some other videos there that will be your be your interest.